Proverbs 30 is written by a man that little is known about other than what he tells us about himself here. Agur confesses to being a rude, uncouth fellow without many of the normal behaviors, learnings, and morals that most of us have. Nevertheless, this man did learn something very important that is unknown to most of the world. Agur learned and believed that God's word was preserved, available, and could be understood even by people like him. He recognized that God's words are pure and not contaminated by man's influence. Psalm 12, 6 declares, The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. But Agar also had something to say about our words, the ones that come out of our mouths. In verse 32, Agar says, If you have been foolish in exalting yourself, or if you have devised evil, put your hand over your mouth. Putting your hand to your mouth is a gesture of awestruck, self-imposed silence. Someone said that one way to keep your foot out of your mouth is to keep your mouth covered. Arguments often start when a foolish person holds to a greedy or a poorly thought out position. This proverb says that you can quickly end conflict by simply holding your hand over your mouth. But usually pride and arrogance get in the way and keep us from backing down or admitting error. We can't find anywhere in the Bible where God says, if only my people would talk more. (laughs) Instead, over and over again, we're told to remain quiet unless we are very sure we have something important to say. If anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless, said James, the half-brother of Jesus. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth, John said. God is saying to believers that we should listen more and speak less. Someone wisely said, Say what you mean, mean what you say, and don't be mean when you say it. Let's ask the Lord to help us stay humble today, to speak less of ourselves and more of Him every day.